In this episode of Inside AFI MSE, we bring you highlights of the AFWorks Fusion 2020 Base of the Future virtual event. AFI MSC is working to give the Air Force innovative teleworking options to consider implementing when the threat of COVID-19 pandemic ends. And the Air Force welcomes the 22nd Air Force Chief of Staff. All this and more in this episode of Inside AFI MSC. The July 28th to 30th virtual AFWorks Fusion 2020 Base of the Future event was a collaboration between AFI MSC, the Air Force Civil Engineer Center, the Tyndall Program Management Office, and leaders from across the Department of Defense. Rebuilding Tyndall was the focus of many of the sessions, which were broadcast on several online platforms to include Facebook and YouTube. The event included keynote speakers, panel discussions, workshops, networking opportunities, and more than 300 teams from the public and private sector participating in the Base of the Future Showcase. Fusion also hosted a virtual trade show, showcasing the top 370 Base of the Future proposals out of a record-breaking 1,600 submissions. For more on this story, go to our website. The AFI MSC Installation Support Directorate and AFCAC have teamed up and are developing plans that will allow the Air Force to optimize workforce telework operations. A recent study showed that while there are substantial upfront costs to renovate, consolidate, and demolish facilities, in the long term, the Air Force could save up to $90 million annually in facility sustainment costs, like custodial services and utilities, particularly when part of the workforce works from home and occupies collaborative workspace when it does work on site. The proposal supports the Air Force's infrastructure investment strategy by contributing to the 5% demolition goal for existing infrastructure. Using existing data on Air Force facilities and infrastructure and new business intelligent tools designed specifically for this initiative, AFI MSC will pursue two pilot studies, one at Luke Air Force Base, Arizona, and the other at Scott Air Force Base, Illinois, to assess the real-world feasibility of telework effectiveness and cost savings. The spouses and partners of our military and civilian employees are often the unsung heroes of Team AFI MSC. There's no way we would be able to conduct the mission when and where it's needed if not for their love and endless support. To thank them for their service and sacrifice, we salute a team member spouse each month on our website and social media platforms. August's spotlight is Julie Dodge. She's the wife of Colonel Tim Dodge, AFCAC's Deputy Commander at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. Julie has been around the military her entire life. Both her grandfather and her father served and retired after 25 years each. Her husband, Tim, has been on active duty for almost 31 years and will be retiring later this summer. Julie says she loves the Air Force, the Air Force way of life, and the airmen she's met along the way. If you have a spouse or a partner or know of someone in your organization who deserves recognition, please contact the AFI MSE First Sergeant, Senior Master Sergeant Eric Peterson at the email address on the screen. And finally, we join the Air Force in bidding a fond farewell to our 21st Air Force Chief of Staff, General David Goldfein, and welcoming General Charles Q. Brown Jr. into the seat. Goldfein retired with more than 37 years of service and passed the baton to Brown at a transition ceremony August 6th at Joint Base Andrews, Maryland. Brown, the first African-American to serve as service chief, is a decorated pilot who has held key commands and served as a military advisor at the highest levels, including his most recent position as the commander of Pacific Air Forces. As the 22nd Air Force Chief of Staff, he's a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and represents the Air Force to the public, to Congress, industry partners and allies. He is also responsible for shaping the service's culture, budget and priorities, as well as organizing, training and equipping the Air Force's 685,000 active duty, guard, reserve and civilian members. And that's what's happening in this episode of Inside AFI MSC. For more news and information, connect with us on Facebook or go to our website at www.afimsc.af.mil.